I was wondering, do you know where you were when you wrote the song Another World? So what, what, the, what the atmosphere was like, when you, what, what sort of state were you in? What were your thoughts on the world? I can't remember. No? I, I was in my room, I think. I was yeah. in my bedroom, my old bedroom. Yeah. Which is so a very small room. It's about the size of maybe 80 square feet or something. Seven, or 100 yeah. square feet or something. Well, was the song written uh, long ago then? Or? Um, it was written probably five years ago. You know, I, this whole group of songs is on the new album is songs I've written in the last seven years. It's kind of a body, a group of songs. Yeah. And uh, Another World, I wrote the lyrics for it like five years ago, and then I, maybe I wrote the um, music for it in, in the last year. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, you were saying five years ago, I think that was 2003, I think uh, it was uh, yeah. just after the invasion of Iraq. Uh, oh, okay. Now we have a new president right. in, in your country, uh, I mean in the US. Um, well, you, you sing in a song saying, I need another place, will there be peace? You ask yourself, what do you think now? Will there be peace? Because of the election of maybe Obama or? I think that, that um, I'm not really qualified to talk about political things. I mean, I, on a personal level, I feel like that, you know, Obama, he's like the first kind of liberal, charismatic, and certainly the first charismatic liberal president that we've had, maybe in my, certainly in my lifetime. I mean, I feel like maybe it's a new awakening of something that hasn't, America hasn't really dreamed to have since maybe the assassination of Robert Kennedy. Yeah. So it's exciting, you know. I, I don't know what it means, you know. Everyone in Europe seems to be obsessed with the fact that he's black, but really, we have plenty of black people in government. It's just that they're all radical conservatives. Clarence yeah. Thomas, Condoleezza Rice, you know. The, but how the, come? How the come? miracle of Obama is that he's a charismatic liberal. Yeah. And he not only is he liberal, but he moves people. So. Yeah. People are willing to fall, willing to work with him, so he could get a lot done. I mean, you know, it's exciting that he was elected, but just from from my perspective. When did he move you for the first time? Do you still recall? He's just a great speaker. You know, he's he's really eloquent, and he speaks to the higher mind of yeah. people, as opposed to most of the presidents. They really dumb it down and, and just appeal to people's fears. Obama's taken a different approach. And I think it's really won people over. Even people I would never have guessed would have gone with him. I mean, he got, you know, a good majority of popular vote. And yeah. he won by a kind of a landslide, you know, so. Where were you when, when, he, when he was elected, do you know? I was in Paris. Was it, was it a strange night? Well, I just woke you? up at 5.30 and watched the news. Yeah. So it was too special? I mean, for, over, over here it was a special moment. People really yeah. were into it. I think everyone's really excited. Yeah. You know, it, it. You know, it's a crucial time. You know, it's a very critical time. So, we needed that. We needed that. Everyone around the world needed some glimmer of the potential for hope, and that's what was offered by that election being won by Obama. What do you think then will happen? I mean, I don't know. There's so much. There's so much that needs to be. You know, so much. So many confusing, complicated things that need to happen. You know? N name me one that you say, well... How are they going to disentangle themselves from, you know, that 15-year occupation in Iraq? You know, how are they going to start to address climate change that is, you know, in a really extreme place already, you know? And, um, and then there's just so many other aspects. I mean, so sh there's so many social justices that need to be done, made, made right, you know, and, yeah. and there's so many basic things that need to happen. Rep the relationship with the world, America's relationship to the world, the community needs to be repaired and they need to close Guantanamo Bay and they need to stop torturing. And there's so many things that need to happen. I don't know how it's going to play out. I'm just an, a singer. <laughs>